two new Amber Lynn videos. My favorite thing. Now, this first story time with my mom, no takeout update. That is the last one that we watched that I put into the YouTube compilation, right? This is, this is a fresh one. Is this a fresh start since the last upload, I think? So then let me sh let me shoot out a reminder. I behave myself for the for the for the regular Widalbers and other YouTube uploads. For the lives, it is what it is. You just, it gets pretty bad in here. Heads up. Uh, we got my life sucks. I'm not dieting. <laughs> Let's go to the casino vlog. That's bait. Uh, and gambling addiction struggles living alone and looking for a girlfriend. That's bait. Okay, <laughs> who could have foreseen that she would trade one addiction for another? Let's see what's going on in my love life sucks. I'm not dying. Let's go to the casino. Did I say not dying? Not dieting? I I get it. I don't want the shorts. The I've been I, I like flicked through YouTube shorts one day, and now now they're like, oh, you like these? Here you go. It's your new favorite thing, YouTube shorts. I gotta get on that. I gotta make some of those. <sighs> Here we are hello, in Oklahoma. Hello. Good Welcome to a new vlog. That's so where the next TwitchCon should be. Day, did my typical Definitely won't routine, go to that. But I'm currently standing in my closet, and I have no idea what I want to wear today. A lot of you watching knows how that feels to have. Clothes. I'm glad to see retirement is going well. Of course, but feel like oh, he's clothes. Of course, I have nothing to wear today. So these are all my dresses. A ball gown. That's what I prefer. I do have a couple shirts. Not many. And these are like my sweaters and stuff, but I definitely don't need to be wearing that today because it's a little warm out. Oh, so I'm not okay. really sure. It's been, it's been some hot days. Yesterday was hot. Um, today pretty warm. Tomorrow's going to be warm. But I wear then it's nice and cool under, again. Obviously because it's see-through. Which I actually have over here in my shirts. Oh, I love when her when her air kicks on in these Just videos. Like one of these guys here makes me think right, of the so garage doors opening. Outfit. Okay, she's cute. Casper Wyoming. <laughs> Twitch Kanye. Yeah. I just feel like it goes so good because I've also been wearing these. Be lots of day. Like, that's just been good smelling go dudes there. So on my cute little bookshelf here. This is actually That's where I what's up. to put my perfume because it just made sense and I thought it looked cute. The perfume so, collection today, dwindling. Downright dwindling. There must be a drawer somewhere, right? I'm going to be wearing this one, KKW, which is a Kim Kardashian perfume. It honestly smells I don't like, so amazing. I don't like the initials. Face, I don't sure. like them. Spritzy Lindsay Taylor Mitchell has gone. I used to actually keep this in my purse. But I keep a new one in there. What Not is it? One. I just like switched well, it out. I see Wasabi. It's Wasabi like survived. One to the this, move. Which is blush by Kenneth Cole, which is also a really good one. Okay, so this is probably these a videos kind of suck. People, which I understand it's gonna be, but my bucket list. Where are we? What is I've this complex? To to a casino. Oh, it's a casino. I, it's like I so see the. Weird, but it is I see this elevator that has the random. Whatever those machines are, things, the sevens on it. And we're doing it today. We're currently at a casino. The only casino I've ever been. I mean, when I was younger, in high school, um, I did stay in Reno, Nevada for, I don't know, I don't know like five nights. Who gives was, a like, shit? At Freddy's? There, but I was 16, so I literally just walked through one. How, at, how is that at all relevant? In what way? <laughs> Uh, I've not, I've really been to casinos, but when I was 16, I stayed in Vegas <laughs> or nearby time, Vegas. I mean, and since that point, I was like, oh my god, that looks kind of fun. So we're here. Uh huh. What do you mean? Don't don't forget to. Um, oh my, my god! Imagine she. F <laughs> the escalator. That'd but don't be, forget to step that up. That would be bad. Oh my god. 14 months no cigarettes. Oh, Congratulations. Are, Very folks. proud. We are here. Oh my god. You're a oh freak. My god, I'm finally here. At it's, 32. It's not, it's not an accomplishment. This is where people go that have a problem. Look at all that. 
Oh, Big Bill's okay. going in there. Okay. All right. That's how we're gonna do it. Do I press this button? Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't know what the bill was. Oh God, this is totally her type of entertainment. Seeing these little pictures with fun, fun noises and whatever, flashing lights. Is that three hundred seventy-five cents? Just give her that thing, that, that toy where you crank it and it spins and stops on something. It's like the cow goes. You just crank it again. <laughs> so, how much for each spin is it? 75 cents. 75 cents. Okay. She's going to lose it all. <laughs> Let me guess, this trip is sponsored by Amberlynn, the, uh, the whole, the whole retirement house is, uh, going to, uh, the casino on Amberlynn. Yeah. So that's how much I've won. That's how much you have total. Two, $20 or $20. Oh, okay. And then you get to press the cash out when you're over. She's totally the type of person to uh, spend like a thousand dollars here and win four hundred and be like, guys, I won four hundred. Isn't that amazing? When you're done. When you're done. So happy. Oh, okay. All right, I'm starting to get it, y'all. A little shop of horrors. Machine thingy. This it's it's this is just her favorite thing. It's just they know exactly how to market this stuff because this is her favorite thing to just just tap. You guys look at the plant. <laughs> She's not beating the <laughs> iPad baby <laughs> allegations. Yeah, Diet just Pepsi. yum. That is a so interesting Pepsi. shade. Yum. Ooh, that looks refreshing. Oh my god, I could go for that in a styrofoam cup. This, the, oh my god, this is, they, they really, they hooked. This is like their target audience right here. This, it's. <laughs> they are marketing exactly to Amber Lynn. The satisfying hello, sound hello. effects. Okay, so I'm waiting for my the mom. tapping, she went into the, bathroom. the the tactile. So fun. This just like hopped around from machine to machine. I I played like easily over twenty. It was a great time. I think the most I won like from one spin was like forty three or something like that. So it was really fun. And you only so lost three hundred. It was my mom's too, but she's never even seen that movie. So I was like, Mom, oh my god, there's a huge bumblebee. Okay, I'm scared. I need to go. Okay. What are we doing now? Okay, it's gone. Whew. It was massive and it was like furry. <laughs> Did she hide from a bee behind a wall? I don't even think that was a bumblebee. I don't know what that was. But I think now we're probably going to go. I don't think you can see me now. Oh, there she is. Okay. Hey, guys. So, you just want, got home. <laughs> you had 43, just off. generic. I ended up getting Mexican food. I got on a you? chimichanga, which is like one of my favorite things. On you? The healthiest. I honestly am on no track. No diet. Oh, okay. Since you guys we're intuitive Oklahoma-ing. Uh, we're, we're intuitive gambling. We're since intuitive we're retiring. Oh my god. I just processed that. How long have I been here for? It's been over two weeks. Oh, I haven't been on track for two weeks. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Amberlynn Survivor? I don't know what that looks like. Um, but I need to know what that looks like. I was actually talking to my mom today about fucking like, the Amberlyn like, pack on do Minecraft. For you, what diet do you want to do? Like when I was doing OMAD one meal a day, I was losing a lot of weight very quickly. I lost 31 pounds. Okay, before. and I just don't think I'm like mentally strong enough to do that right now because that was hard. It's just you just it's just you just do it. You just especially in the beginning, but then like your body gets used to it and then you shop. Even you more. absolutely have the power. Super hungry. You're an iPad kid. Like, the size adds up. Like, one plus one does equal two. Hello, hello. It is no kidding. Day, so I'm just going to continue on my vlog. I'm wearing no foundation or anything. So, so if you Can you go back and, and, and For me, fix I can it? No. Tell. Everyone is their own, like, worst enemy critic. 
whatever it may be. I just felt like my actual skin just needs yeah, to be my own to breathe. Dead so I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I woke up today extremely depressed. Oh, you know what will cure that? Casino. Casino and a chimichanga. You'll snap right back out of it. I'm just going to say my love life. We're just gonna go with that. I'm not allowed to like go into details, but I'm. I'll like, go tired spend of- some money at the casino. You'll feel better. I'm, I'm really tired. <laughs> oh, really- Don't do that. Tired, bad idea. Girl. Bad idea. I was kidding. Okay. Are you giving mama lovin's? Yeah. So I sat in bed for hours after I woke up, and I didn't get up. <laughs> okay. So a normal day. Go on. That's when I knew, like, whoa, I'm depressed because I have not done that in a very long time so i forced myself okay. to get up i forced myself to eat something even though I oh didn't my god to poor thing and poor then I thing forced myself to do some Gotta makeup get... so i can film because i don't like filming without it anymore it's just like a thing now i'm gonna oh, force okay. myself to just like clean because cleaning is super therapeutic to me i'm gonna clean things that don't even need to be cleaned so that is literally gonna be my day today okay so i have not even used sounds slightly obsessive but go on right here because I still have these that I have to get rid of. There used to be so many. And you're supposed to What is there to do? Put them out for trash valet, but I feel bad, so I- Trash valet? That's what they call it over there? Uh, or, or, or find, find out where we bring where we cardboard recycling. One to two a day. So the pile has- She feels bad? Giving them so much stuff to throw in the garbage, so she just gives them one or two boxes a day. Very much lessened, but it's happening very slow because I don't want to. I don't know. I just don't want to. That's, that's the that's the prime thing right there to recycle for. Um, and paper. then my grandma actually let me use this mattress for when I first moved in because my stuff wasn't supposed to be here on time. But it's finally getting grandma's today, mattress. So I'm actually gonna be able to use this door. I actually need to set out. These what is this door? Tonight for the trash valet, just these two right here. Oh my they god, look at all this space. Even Rarity's like, what is happening? I've been here for over two weeks, and it just feels like a completely new place. Yeah, I'm sure this complex has a couple of dumpsters you can just walk this, over to, this right? Space is free. My mom's boyfriend is literally the sweetest thing. I turned my back, and he's Your mama up boyfriend? TV for me. And I didn't even ask him wow. to. So now I officially have. Well, I'm sure I'm sure you've paid them both hey guys, enough. So it is the next day, so it's three days in one vlog. Which <laughs> Does that I don't mean like to say? Doing, but we've hit a little low moment. Three days in one vlog. My mental health, which is okay. No I kidding. Have to ride the wave. Has it ever um, gone right up? I feel like I'm drowning, but someone close to me recently said, "Learn to swim." So I'm doing that. I do know how to swim. Who the fuck ride, said so that? Nemo's dad. Anyway, so my cat Rarity slept on me last night. Slept on my chest, so my eye is kind of having a moment because i'm allergic to my cats as you guys know but i'm about to go watch all, when- all you got to do is just not touch your eyes you always touch your eyes and leave your makeup on overnight if i if i vigorously pet my cats and immediately rubbed my eyes i would probably have an issue as well i'm not having a good day but i feel like my day is going to get better uh, my mom and her <laughs> I have to fix my over, sleeping schedule cook grandma's recipe i've actually made this grandma's recipe we mean with the egg whites and the spaghetti and the scallions etc on my blog before it's just like a family no kidding that um my mom showed me when i was a little girl and we would have growing up so it's like near dear close to my heart and i grew up with it so i think that's why i like it and it's Damn. Really weird because like i said i showed it in a vlog i can't even tell you how long ago like eight years ago Speaking about of- yeah um, this month, by the way, is my decade birthday of being on YouTube. So decade happy birthday, birthday. To me. happy birthday to you all. Happy birthday to this freaking channel. Like a full decade, I can officially say. <laughs> I think my channel was made in like, like 2009 or something. <laughs> <laughs> Amberlynn Reed has been on YouTube for 10 years, and I'm not going to lie. Like, like, I'll get a thing a like, it's your channel's rock, anniversary, rock, and I'm like... I've met amazing people. I have had amazing things happen. When I made this YouTube, account? I've documented so much of my life, but I have also left so much out. For the lack of a better term, YouTube has actually been a blessing for me, and I am so appreciative to no all kidding. of you. So, wow, um, here's to another decade. Can you imagine in 20 years? I'm like, hey, y'all, Another decade? I don't know. So I don't know about that. I can't. I don't know if I'm going to be here. 
I think so I'm gonna have some other recipe, stuff to do by um, then. You need soy sauce. Hopefully. Eggs, scallions, bacon, and spaghetti. That is You're literally fucking all. Fucking sicko. So we just got back from the store, so I wanted to show you my what you needed. My Amy's but I also meals. Got some things that are not for the recipe. These are like my favorite. It's oh, so I updated in the um. Discord, I saw the toasted corn Doritos and said, I'm going to be really upset if these are just tortilla chips. They were just tortilla chips. It was just corn tortilla chips. But they were, they were nice. I got some salsa, some medium salsa. Um, it was good. It was just, it's just Doritos unflavored. No MSG. I know the 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 Doritos I usually get have MSG in them. Good old monosodium mono, monosodium glutamate or something. Uh, these yeah, it's just corn, just just tortilla chips. But they're nice and thick because they're Doritos. Nice and thick, you know. Hold I'm some talkies. hold some dip in there. Some pork tamales. Fucking Peppered sicko. <laughs> fucking sicko. I was craving. Oh, you fucking balls. sicko. And I got some Amy's. I got Isaac, how you lasagna, doing? The pesto tortellini and the tortilla casserole and black bean. Okay. Oh, there it is. That's Grandma's recipe. <laughs> I feel like I feel like Grandma just made that as a necessity. I don't know. If... Since she cooked, I will be. I mean, I like to eat canned peas. Kitchen, That's my shit right there. It is a mess. So dinner it's really me. not that it bad. It definitely reminded me of happy moments in my childhood because it is something that we would have a lot. And it's crazy because my mom Damn, if I were you, I would not be trying to bring back memories of childhood, but that's just me. Like it adds a good amount of the flavor. Can't speak for anyone else. It's something that we had growing up and we enjoyed it. Okay, so I got all of this. Oh, yeah, canned peas and some mac and cheese. Now we're talking. Now I have all of these dishes to do. Okay, hello. So <laughs> I'll throw them in the dishwasher. A little red. I'm having a buzz ball. Um, this is actually my second Whip one. out the balls. Have, uh, the one I just had. It's buzz balls. Because they're very strong. But I'm just kind of like winding down for the night. I'm going to finish editing this vlog. I'm going to put you guys Gambling, in. alcohol. Like, Whatever else is going on with her, good stuff. Oh, look at Zach! It's good old Zachary Michael. There he is. Okay, that was that one. We got Gambling Addiction, Struggles Living Alone, and Looking for a Girlfriend. No kidding, are you? You're looking for a new assistant? Bold Buzz balls were not something I ever electively drank. They're the kind of thing that's generally forced upon you like a smearing off ice. Drinking a buzz ball at home seems chaotic. I bet it ain't no four loco. Hello? <laughs> Those were the days. <laughs> no, no, no. All right. Gambling addiction, etc. Let's see what we got. Hello? Good morning. I woke up maybe 10 minutes ago. I already have my AirPod in my ear. I'm listening to your mama. Yes, I am. You're listening to fucking who? Anyways, I am looking <laughs> crazy. So let's get ready for the day together, shall we? Okay, so before I shower... I yo mama? Or a little yo-yo mama? Brush my hair, which I already did. To get all Bring out the fucking the cello. Or I wash my hair. So I go through phases where do I brush my teeth in the shower? Do I brush Smirnoff my teeth isn't vegan. Right now we're... Why is it one of those things that gets like filtered through fish or something or like that? Out of the shower phase, so I always brush my teeth before. Like I fucking shower. sickos! Please, please. <laughs> All right, shower is completed. And if anyone's wondering which this is, this is I shit content. Oh my god, the, the retirement phase is really not going well. Shampoo and conditioner. Love it. And now to keep oh my god, you're not a product influencer. My god. Cream. Okay, so now that I'm No dry, one's I'm looking for recommendations. Head, I, I usually keep this on my head for about 20 Yeah, I guess she found a place where she can pop right into that like shower. That. Let's go. Is foundation dewy and smooth fit me foundation, which is <laughs> my favorite. Don't you talk about dewy. Next step is my eyebrows. I just use some elf <laughs> 
stuff that I've used literally. For oh, years. is everyone calling this retirement Basically, era? I thought that was my thing. My eyeliner, which I use, um, Elf Liquid Eyeliner, which is also. I mean, I guess the well, the bingo. So there's nothing else to call it. Nick, you see the bingo, eyes, and you just. Which every time I wear this stuff, what you, you guys go with? Ask, what is that? I get DMs off the Ying Yang. Is that even a saying? It's this little guy right here. And yes, I do no need idea. to fix my nails. I know. Next step okay. is I use. Yeah, Elf mine are looking better than hers for honey, once. Which I love. And by the way, I looked up what. Up the yin yang Rare means occurrence. because I swear I've heard it before. Up the yin yang. It means in large amounts. So it's not something. That was out. I just out came the. Came up with because sometimes I'll say something and I'm like, have I? That was a that euphemism for before? like out word. my so ass. Did I make that up? You guys know like situation type deal. Like I made that up, but I've said it so much and now like other people say it to me that I am like, did I start something? Did I start a revelation? A revolution? <laughs> Wait, I should go back. Oh my god. <laughs> Read a fucking book. You know. So for mascara, I use a movie. Say one lash, thing right. Lash sensational. Oh my god, it's a mouthful. Next is some. <laughs> Man, I think these buzz balls are going to her brain. I don't know what's happening here. Moment type deal. There's a little kitty on it. Isn't it cute? So this is Winky Lux in the color Kiss she's, and Tail. She's been retired is, for too long. She, she's starting to just lose lose brain function i'm pretty sure it's not tell as in t-e-l-l it's tail really in, not having to do any critical thinking anymore get it okay, hey microwave so fudge for a little longer than i would like it to hi so obviously she's still wet i do not brush my hair when my hair is wet that's a no for me you just, just tie it up you just put it up in a bun soaking it takes wet out a lot of my hair i'm also not gonna crimp it i'm not gonna straighten it i'm not gonna do anything with it because i have been using heat on it almost daily heat? today she's just gonna be all natural so i already chose what i'm gonna wear all, um, all natural set it right here so and then the hangers that i'm not using i just have on the other side of my closet that i put okay. right there you're okay, walking so closet. Deodorant, um, Dove in coconut. A and nacho pendasky. No, she, the only difference is um, she moved to uh, Oklahoma and now she's uh, basically like a retired person. Just, just calling it quits. Every single day. I don't know why. I just love them. And then we have my daily choker. Remember when Amber claimed her hair was like becoming curly? Every day as well. <laughs> All right, so perfume of the day. Yeah, you mean it's just got a little dialogue. greasy? <laughs> so I'm about to touch up my nails because they look horrible. This is what I've been using. The brand is Essie in the color After School Boy Blazer 795. I never said I was a professional, but there we go. Okay, so I just washed Twinkie. It's got all those little, all those little, all those little skin peels up here. Didn't, doesn't she say she bites them or something? Did she say she bites her nails? None of my business. Oh, but there we go. Lots of people okay, do. So I just walked Twinkie. I got some. I mean, I got them too. I have that shit the where like I keep hitting mute. I have that shit where like the side of the nail wants to like pull off from the rest of the nail. I get up these little point pointy bits on the side of the nail. I can't cut them off because I don't want to get it like ingrown or whatever. Oh, um, Why is she wearing sunglasses her in an apartment? Please stop. She must have just gotten eye surgery. Actually need. So we have a box and a bag. Force. I had this Cajun restaurant last night. Cajun? Cajun. Oh man. It's like Asian, but Asian Cajun is I have been seeing this. Why do I still have my sunglasses on? I literally forgot. <laughs> okay, so I've been seeing this everywhere. It's the uh his You know, Sagora, you know you're asking about the sunglasses. Maybe it's all leading up to this uh this diagnosis you had in mind, oh, remember? <laughs> Um, it's so the lights, I just and can't, the first time we're using this apartment, the lighting is really... So, this is what it looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen this ad literally everywhere. So I will try Yeah, yeah, she had to look into the camera to so start. <laughs> to see, like, does she actually work? Because you guys know I'm not going to be lying to you. Sorry and about the lighting. Work. It's and just... Here, I needed a new pair of flats. And I personally love their flats. So I just got 
a black pair. Okay. I wasn't really paying attention the last couple minutes. So that's all I got. It's just two things I needed. Toothpaste and shoes. All right, so here's what I got. You guys, this is so good. It's called like a seafood e toffee. I don't even know. Etouffee. And it comes with rice. <laughs> little toffee, like little together. little seafood toffee. Let's like go. So let's take the oh, you just ruined together. the fucking rice. You ruined the rice. Er. You've tainted all that rice. Wow, this is so <laughs> Put it good. on a separate plate. And it's spicy, very spicy, and I love spicy. So it's like, I also love just comforting food, and this is comforting to me. Mm. Okay, so I'm in the middle of doing laundry. Thank God. Thank God. Some, the, the hustle and bustle really gets to her. She needs the nice, the little dryer. comforts in oh life to keep God, her going. Like, these Samsung washer and dryer moment situation type deals... They're squeaky. Is that normal? Oh, you know, you gotta talk to my friend post 10. Normal. Because if it's not normal, I need to let the apartment know. So I actually the apartment. just posted on Instagram for you guys to ask me some questions because I feel like there's a lot of like... Uh, plugging in my phone notification sound, sound close, alert. It's just me. For some reason I forgot. Right, what clothes and dryer sheets? We are ready to rumble. I like that. I like that. <laughs> that sounds aggressive. What'd you put in there? Fucking sneakers? What's going on? Are you okay? Who the fuck is this? I don't think that's normal. And I've been purposely doing small loads, thinking maybe like really, really loads, lesbian, which I don't something know something like not. that. Like it's only like halfway full, and it makes that noise. That can't be normal. So I'm definitely gonna contact the apartment. Oh my god, this, the, uh, the, I'm so sick of this flirting between these two. Just fuck already. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Totally just I kidding. Just bothering people. It's like this weird. <laughs> Thing up here. Okay, you guys. So no, like she definitely she definitely has a crush on Zach though. So let's answer some of them. What's the most <laughs> difficult part of this? Maybe it's not my place to assume. Is the first twenty minutes to like an hour when I first wake up in the morning, especially the first like three minutes of waking up, because I'm just hit with this like wave of just like heartbreak, depression, loneliness. Oh, like, just hit up the casino. You'll be fine. Worst feelings you can feel and it's heavy it's like morning every single day will you weigh yourself on camera anytime hmm. soon yes i will because i haven't even weighed myself since you guys saw my last weigh in and i think it's about writing the enemies to besties be arc in her head it's just it's just sonic and shadow bingo and the casino feel addictive to you no not at all if i'm being honest bingo is kind of boring and i could never go to a casino for the rest of my life and totally be fine so things like gambling wow i just it's not an addictive thing for me at all so we don't have to worry about that did you okay all for right. your mom see and that question made me feel bad because no i didn't should i have my mom works really hard for her money so she's very just like i'll pay for my own stuff and don't have to worry about me type deal like she's that type of woman so no I did not buy her the wallet. Nice. Are you did she get addicted to scratch cards and have to stop because she was getting addicted? Yeah, and then, and then she started doing scratch art to try to right. fill that yeah. need. I want to be single. <laughs> I don't want to be in a relationship. It's not something. That oh, so the oh, so it's fucking opposite day. The title is just a lie. Looking for, which is crazy because it's like I. Are you even struggling living alone? I feel like I've always been in a relationship or just like looking for one and right now I'm like no there is some love life drama behind the scenes okay. that I'm not going to talk about things that I do deal with um on a day-to-day -day basis we hooked up again probably seem confusing now that I've even brought it up will we eventually meet mama Lynn and does she want to be on YouTube I hope so my mom is super camera shy. I've asked her if she's ready to be on camera, and she's not. But she does like to talk a little. Try again like later. Guys Ask crazy, again later. She's not ready to like be on camera. Do you have any struggles? That's with living honestly, I maybe she should never be. I mean, as much as I would love for there to be a new character in this era instead of just 
just uh, Amberlynn talking to people off camera? I don't think so. Like, I'm standing here trying to think of something. I, I don't know if your mom thing. is the like, answer. I'm capable of living on my own. I've said that for ever now. I think my main struggle what? and the hardest part has just been waking up alone and having to remind myself every day, like 50 First Dates, that movie with Drew Barrymore and Adam Sandler, which I love. I just feel like every day I wake up, I have to remind myself that I'm not waking up to the person I was with. So you're brain damaged? <laughs> Do you have a concussion? <laughs> you have to remind yourself every day, like 50 First Dates? That's not good. Person I love. I'm not supposed to be. That's what that movie. You know, that's what that movie was about. Didn't she get like hit in the head or something? There are four more questions that I will not be answering, but these are questions that I will be talking about. That's what that movie's about. Someone got hit in the head and then they can't remember. So these are the four questions that you guys will officially have answers to. Have you ever been asked to be on a reality TV show? What was the psychologist you said? Oh, are we doing a QA? I didn't even realize. What couldn't you tell us during your weight loss surgery journey that you can share now? And what was the thing that you were going to tell us once you moved? So all of that. <laughs> is going to be answered soon. There's just no way, because most of this is like story time esque. So there's no way I can answer all four of these questions. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Questions. Whenever you're right, you're, that does explain the title. Whenever she's just answering questions from people, it's always just like baited with like Maybe the most ridiculous one. things that they ask Maybe her. I mean, I've done that before. I'm sure, in some kind of fashion. Anyone picking up this Alan Wake too? Anything good here? No. No, there's not. Amber has to prove she showers. Yep, we're in that we're in that arc again. Nice, nice. That's it. Let's see this 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 uh Hallow Hallow's Eve upload. From Amberlynn, you got your your uh, your goose night upload, your goosey night upload. You got your cabbage night upload, devil's night upload, Halloween Eve upload. What else? What else do they call the day before Halloween? Witches night. I don't know. <laughs> Something wacky, something whacking. What a great distraction from maintenance, sawing the ceiling, looking for the source of a leak. That's unfortunate. How's it going to sunshine rabies? Dang. Dang. What's worse than that is that's not even like your problem. It'd be like the people above you fucking up, right? That's annoying. That's a, I that would really I would really be upset by that. That would really ruin my day. Pre ween. Oh wow, that's some way of putting it. She's getting really Chantal coded. Wasn't Chantal eating pickles in her video? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay. Let's go to the Science Museum. Liberty Science Center, Jersey City, New Jersey. Let's fucking go, New Jersey. That's definitely where she's going, the Liberty Science Center. Uh, museum. Target Hall. That's where that is, right? Jersey City. Target Hall. How'd you get to Target? And went to church. Vlog. Went to a church in Oklahoma? Amberlynn went to a church in Oklahoma? Why? Why? They don't want you. I mean, hey, feel free. Uh, none of my business. Let's go. Let's go to the Science Museum. Will the Science Museum convince her that the moon landing actually happened? No. No, it won't. Premium. The Finding Jesus arc is going to be an excruciating. <laughs> I really... Really hope that doesn't happen. Per the farms, it's a homophobic journey. You, what are you doing over there? 
What? That's still around? You're a sicko. Uh, okay. Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. Sure. So we're gonna start this vlog off with like a taste. Vlog. Oh my god, this she's really she's really going influencer mode in this new uh, era. Are you guys ready for it? It's a hot taste. mama, hot and spicy pickle. Um. Bag of pickle. Fire. It says on here no refrigeration needed, but your girl refrigerates literally everything. Ooh. It's in a brine. Okay, it's so it's. <laughs> it is um so it's, a, it's in brine I love it keeps pickles. it fresh but i like the pickles that are like snack size because Chris of the texture because i'm weird about textures so i normally hate Go pickles on. that are big especially ones that are especially. this size oh that does not look good you're no snooky it's all like foamy what is happening in there okay brine that looks it's a brine disgusting <laughs> um you bought it this was for you i'm gonna hate this i i did drop okay the on the, floor, the foam on the pickles why it's so i don't like boring. that oh my god let me get a plate this is like that's too much juice juicy. i need okay. a i need like a thin slice of pickle at at most i can't do with the juice Oh, she is sour. She's supposed to be Get spicy. some bread and okay, butter pickles. I don't know what the fuck you're forcing that down for. Like, once you swallow... Get a nice sweet pickle. It's mainly just really sour. Doesn't like pickles. She's about the biggest pickle she could find. Take one nibble on camera. Oh, Online wow. behavior. Um, she's... She's acting like she's like a Beverly Hills <laughs> influencer. So sour. Like I can handle spicy all day long. What are the Doritos you like? Found like, some like, US Doritos in the store and they're sweet chili. Yeah, that's gotta be them. Yeah, sweet spicy chili, they call it over here. I think I think they exist over there. It might be they might be have like a slightly different name. Sour stuff. Not really for me. So we are currently at the Science Saw the pickle on TikTok. Yeah, she she ordered it off the TikTok shop, probably right. Okay, let me see. Let uh, me see. Science Museum. Let me see this sign. Donald W. Reynolds Curia City with a fucking uh, clip art image of a of of a city with a telescope. Fun only, instead of one way. That is that a threat? I discovered Mercury is the smallest planet. Take that up with Becky. I would like to be able to alien. It's kind of loud and annoying. Oh. Okay, some some snow cone <laughs> cups and what was that silly string or yarn or something? Very scientific this museum. And these represent the molecules. Magic? No, no, no! You're at the science museum, you fucking fool! Uh, there's a there's a logical explanation to everything. <laughs> it's it's specifically not magic. It is the real world. <laughs> Conspiracy theory museum. Huh. This is just an arcade. <laughs> the fuck. Ew. Ew, sickos. What the hell are you doing? Those aren't for you. Those aren't for you. They probably have a show coming up. These videos suck. Fuck sickos! Fuck sickos! Free the fish! Oh my god, I'm 
my <laughs> god. Oh, oh my god, what if we get stuck in here? I'm stuck in the wall. Wait, is that a mirror? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god, claustrophobia. Oh, <laughs> Can't be too mad at this. She had a traumatic childhood, so she probably never got to do stuff like this. Definitely not with her parents, so I'm ambivalent. Amber ambervalent. That's what they said about Michael Jackson. <laughs> um no, you're right, you're right. I get what you're saying. I was here last spring while visiting my grandparents, so confused why she went with her mom. We brought my nine-year-old, and even she was bored by how little kiddish the activities were. This is... Wow, you know what this is? Maya, you're, I think you're onto something. This this is her... Her getting a new... A new childhood with her mom. Damn. That's interesting. I don't even have a critique on that. We did it. Yay. She's, this is the, the childhood she never had. Wow. Hmm. Magnets. GSG shots. Welcome on in. It's not dark. It's, uh, it's interesting. None of my business. It's a big, big bug. Oh, it's so cute. I would love to take this home. Depr you guys really? Really? That got you? That you a tear to your eye? I'm just rolling with it. Could be her mom's way of making up for lost time. She probably never really got to be a good parent either. So true. So true. So true. <laughs> More, more, give me more. We went inside a planetarium? Can we get this in dark mode next time? Please, I'm blind now? The sensory space, is that what this is? Oh yeah, lots of, she does, this is the perfect place for her. It's the perfect place for her. Loves touching things. Bet you're not supposed to film this. Huh. Fuck is he talking Whoa. about? Save so Palestine! You were almost there! Well. <laughs> So Mars is what we call a terrestrial planet. That means it has a, a rocky surface. You can stand on it. When we get out here past the asteroid... That was around Earth. This is, this is literally uh, rocking her I mean, world right now? Mostly hydrogen and helium. Oh, so she's definitely getting sick, sick from this experience. Planet, touching all that stuff. Uh, and of rubbing her eyes. Here, uh, going to bed with her makeup on. <laughs> and the core is this thick, bright central bar. Ooh, what you uh, know, a thick, bright central bar. And actually, this is actually pretty impressive. So, we hey guys, I can't see so shit. She keeps day. moving. Um, I'm getting ready. My mom actually stayed the night last night, which was cute and fun and fresh. Had her watch the movie Barbie because my grandma didn't like it very much, but I loved it. So I was like, well, why don't you watch it? You could be the tiebreaker. My mom said she kind of liked it. Um, I personally cry in that <laughs> movie. It's it's just so good. There's like you cry in that movie. It's like oh, it's a Barbie movie. Yeah, You're in the movie. Um, I stopped filming after the science museum. We had so much fun, but we ended up going out to dinner, and then I went to my grandma's to Chuck E. Cheese. Her, so we were there for a bit. <laughs> but today we're actually going to church. Um, last Sunday, my mom was like, "Church or casino?" And I was like, "Casino." If you guys don't know anything about me, I am agnostic, but my mom. Does believe in God and all that, so she wants to share this experience with me. I have been to church several freaking times in my life, but I will say it's been a very, very long time. Okay. So I am going for her today, and then after that, oh, I'm okay. actually going to be meeting her boyfriend's family. So I'm super, <laughs> I wouldn't go. Super excited for that, and I'm not sure what the rest of the day entails. Okay. Good luck. What do they got? Creed playing at the church? What's going on here?
I'm sorry. What? Where is this? What is? So I'm super excited for that. After that, I'm actually gonna be meeting her boyfriend's family. Meeting your mom's boyfriend's so family. And I'm not sure about the rest of the day. They go house. see in a concert. This is church. Damn, like, we got a heavy it has been such a version of that come together. Like, truly. So I met my mom's boyfriend's family. Okay. Love, like literally obsessed. And by the way, Oops. church was actually so much fun. It was nothing like I expected. I have never been to a church like that. Like a live band like that started off by singing Come Together, one of my most favorite songs ever. Once they started... These are the kids of churches where the youth pastors are 27 year old guys with one e earring and with 18 year old ones. Oh, oh kind of churches. Okay. Yeah. To get into the more like, I love Jesus, I love God. So. Once it became that, I did feel a certain type of energy and I ended up crying, which honestly isn't surprising because every time I've gone to church, nine times out of ten i shed at least one tear but the music was just like beautiful like it was just a really good time i loved it so much my mom knows that this is not going to change my opinion on how i feel about god whatever i don't really talk about religion on my channel so we don't really have to go get for that, it. i don't know like, go I for know it who cares who's what's <laughs> start a new trend here one single tear at the church <laughs> for her god is the reason why she's eight years sober and to me that is special. I actually just got back from Target, so Good, we have a great. haul. Let's do it. I needed some TP. Hey, Gemini, may get the Halloween. Like oh, you got the Charmin. Haul. Let's do it. I needed some got the Charmin Ultra Soft with a smooth tear. Come on now. Come on. TP. So we got some of that. I always like to have a few um, cat scratchers for my cat. Yeah, I really hope the church thing want. doesn't become a trend on leaf here. Leaf college rolled. <laughs> Paper. Got a thing of these mini Diet Cokes. Random fact Ooh. about me. I never finish a regular size Diet Coke, so these mini ones are actually perfect. Oh, so, oh yeah, shrinkflation working out perfect for Emberlin here. It's actually more convenient for me this way. I don't care that it costs more than the full 12 packs used to. I never this is better. a regular size Diet Coke, so these mini ones are it's actually It's better this perfect. way. I'm craving couscous, and this is one of my favorite kinds. It's the Near East couscous mix roasted garlic and olive oil so i got two of those i like with my tuna salad um near weekend, east so as opposed to the far weekends. east there you I go i like to have something sweet at night don't come for me so i got these kinder bueno thingies they're crispy creamy chocolate bar but it has like hazelnut which reminds me of nutella which pretty much is nutella let's be real so i've never had a squishmallow before but okay there's these like mystery was that supposed to be a hack <laughs> let's be real so I've never had a Squishmallow before, okay. but there's these like mystery squad by Squishmallow thingies. Mystery so I got squad. two of those. I'm kind of excited. So I got a God, we're in this shit again. Just the the open up mystery items shit. And I also needed the little wet Swiffer thingies, so I got some of those. I don't like those. I need to put this away now. I don't like the those. Get a mop. Sleep is with these Ollie Sleep Melatonin. Gummies. That They're means you have a problem. Right. So now, so whatever, I fix that this. sleep schedule. Whatever works. This whatever washer. works for you. Um, I can't tell you how long because I usually wash my dishes by hand and then I'll put the wet dishes. Those things don't. <laughs> those things don't work right. The pods don't get them. Now you can if you want. I don't give a shit what you do. These, these these doodads here, they don't allow for you to put any detergent in the pre-wash section. Which is part of the whole thing. And also make sure hot water you make sure the water coming out of your sink is hot before you turn the dishwasher on. Because otherwise, if you haven't heat if you haven't gotten the hot water going yet, then the first rinse is all cold water. Uh, yes, the tech really technology connections and then I'll put the wet videos about the dishwasher. The dishwasher. Just, like, like, Pearl I'm loves washing dishes. I think we run their dishwasher like every fucking day. I'm gonna try using a dishwasher. So 
So I got some of these Cascade Platinum Plus. Guys, it like doesn't clean all the way. It's so weird. situation type deals. I have a small trash can. Could have a pod as a treat once in a while. Got some of these Glad You're eating bags. Tide Pods? Last but not least, I got this Delicious. bar. It's milk chocolate. I heard a lot of bad things about it. So I want to know like... Are the bad reviews? Oh real? my god, what did the influencer era stop? So, maybe I'll try it on camera. Try using the dishwasher. Hi, Ken. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Nice. The fact you left the house is a lot for her in terms of luck. Like, yeah, at least it wasn't uh, Bingo and TJ Maxx, right? Oh, it was the Target Hall. That was her showing, like, the, the Mr. Beast bar, etc. Is anyone going to say anything about the church? That's the most interesting part to me, is her going to a church. Also, she loves saying, Game Ready Drive already is available. Listen, I'm streaming right now. I'm sick on Halloween. This is so hateful. Oh, yeah, because you had so much planned, right? How's it going, Pacific Nutria? What's the matter with you? Feel better. Oh, I'm sick. Now I can't go out to all the Halloween parties I was invited to. Ugh. Oh, I was so excited. I was invited to all these parties. Ah, <laughs> oh, feel better. Feel better. Church remind me of the King of the Hill episode. You're not making church cooler. You're just making rock and roll worse. Mm -hmm. What a show. What a show. Great lines from that show. You gonna go to the park and play Pokemon Go? Oh, oh yeah, there's like a spooky thing going on for that. Charlie Riot. Sparrow underscore gift in a sub. Subscribed. Charlie underscore Riot gifted a tier one sub to Sparrow underscore Red. Let's they have given 23 gift subs in the channel. Go, Charlie Riot gifted a sub. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Let me see some gift sandwiches in the chat for that. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Some, give me something, something. An opinion on the church. <laughs> Thoughts on church. Thoughts on church. I wonder what kind of church. Nothing. Nothing. Everyone's just happy. Good, good, good for you getting out. Good stuff, Amberly. Keep it up. Okay, there is one. One Amberlyn video to watch i've already been informed it's a sit down video and probably a q a okay turning to god turning to alcohol diagnosed with bpd and saying goodbye forever alexa play never forget from halo 3 no 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 fuck Please don't play it. It's not doing anything. Really? Doing, thank yeah. God. Sakura Cheer Dix Song. Fucking hate that thing. I hate the thing so much. I hate Amazon so fucking much. I hate that it's listening to me. We don't even fucking use it. <laughs> God damn. I'm the only one who's in the kitchen. Why is it there? Uh, anyway, um, what I what I miss? What I miss? Oh, Sakura, thanks for the hundred bits. That was nice of you. Uh, we didn't know it was come such an iconic moment. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Uh, turning to alcohol now. Now that's a weird thing to clickbait because she has been recreationally drinking for like a couple weeks uh and people die <laughs> so like really yeah like, oh like turning to alcohol like fucking stop stop it's been t like two weeks just just discontinue like <laughs> Tori turtle thanks for the 100 bits appreciate it okay all right Turning to alcohol. God. Oh, I already opened it. I already opened hey it. Guys. Wait. Wait. 
How come there's not 1080 premium? What am I paying for? Am I right? Hey guys, welcome to- Sweet! God. To a new video. So today we're gonna do like welcome. a Q&A type style. I feel like I haven't done just like a straight up- God, I wish I, I, wish I didn't have to watch this. in a very long time. And I know there's probably very a lot of questions. Time. A lot of things you guys want to know, want me to talk about, clarify, no. explain. Who asked, not me. Be. So it's perfect time to do that. I speak I for everyone when I say who cares. No, I have not really been posting. And honestly, it's because so much is like going on up here. Her mom must have been busy to today. To so focus, true. Focus, so true. Busy, Thank you for the hype train, things. everybody. And it's just like I went through a very big moment by, you know, moving to a completely different moment? state living by myself for the first time in my life in this way around family that i haven't been around Except. since i was 18 years old i'm 32 now okay i was and in a relationship with a person that i thought i was gonna be who whatever, asked that i literally thought i was going to marry who asked there was a lot of different things happening and which are still happening um and who it's asked? just like i was filming every single day and uploading every other day okay and i think i just got burnt out because it really was oh, just like so oh, much poor thing poor thing alexa play never forget from halo 3. Watch out once and i was feeling extremely overwhelmed and i've kind of just like disappeared so i do want to say i'm sorry for that okay so i actually posted <laughs> sorry. three days ago Anything you want me to talk about in an upcoming video, I post that on my community tab. Yeah, you do that a lot, and very rarely does it uh, blossom into anything. So I'm just going to go in order. Overwhelmed at the casino and bingo. Age, talk about things I feel like that are like uh, too disrespectful for me. Um, or too like disrespectful. But I'm just going to start from the top and work my way down. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first question is... Why are you suddenly no longer complaining about any of your multiple health issues that were always causing you to be set back or your mental health problems that you felt the need to... That's a question. Why aren't you complaining anymore? ...feel to use as a crutch every day, suddenly healed from everything. But before I answer that, I just want to say that's really sad that, like, when people are vocal about their, like, mental health or physical stuff... Oh my say, god, oh. fucking... <laughs> Fucking oh god! Using that as a crutch when it's like fucking crucifix late, Lynn over here. Have gone too far. You are too far I gone. can't believe. People are like, oh, you should have. I have to be the martyr for this. It's like I am very much that person <laughs> that I do speak up. I do say something, but I've noticed I have taken a lot. I of steps can't believe I have to uh, get attacked like this judged. for everyone else. Like people think that I do uh, use it as a crutch or an excuse. So I think that's the reason why that I am not talking about those things anymore. Because like even in this person's uh, question, they said like, "Why are I, we no longer?" We gotta. We need to like petition that. She needs to like turn the air off, while she's vlogging because. That shit's loud. For complaining about these things, I never feel like I'm coming from a complaining spot. I've always just tried to take pride in like being vocal about my mental health or like things that I'm going through. But overall, the reason why I'm not—you don't think you're complaining about these things anymore—is because I have taken. You don't find that to be complaining? Really personal things, and it's because of the response that I receive when I do that. Because the response that I receive. Really? Is that, yeah. Tori Turtle, thanks for the 100 bits. Dixon. Dixon, Dixon, thanks Tori Turtle. It actually makes me feel worse. Have you noticed an improvement in your health overall? So yeah, I do notice um, improvement in my health. And I'm going to come from like my stamina. Your libido. Area type deal type situation. Your... Because it's like I was actually talking to my mom the other night. And I was like explaining to her like how bad I was in your 2018. Chutzpah. Because she didn't your... even know. She didn't even know the extent of how bad You're it was because it was just embarrassing. The only drive. people who knew were the people that I lived with. It's like I was outside. I was actually taking High a walk with tea. my mom and with Twinkie. And I was just like, I wouldn't have been able to do this in 2019. Like not even remotely close. I am able to go and do things. Um, Science Museum is a really good example of that. Whereas in 2019, I couldn't do That's those goals things. goals right and there. Even my mom was like, That's goals. what do you think changed? Like, how do you think that you did that? Like, even though you're still the same size Fucking Becky. It's because it takes Fucking work. Becky. It takes hard work to build your stamina. Like it was very, very hard. 
New Emberlin video title, I lost all my money at the casino, let's play bingo, and she loves me vlog. Are you saying that there's a new video, or did you just make, <laughs> did you just make up what the next video is going to be? Because that sounds pretty accurate, if you just made that up. I still remember in 2019, <laughs> when I tried to take a shower, like my legs would shake. I would be so out of breath. Mm. Like for mm. even 30 seconds of me standing, I was like... It just felt like I was completely incapable as a person. It was terrifying. Mm. I remember feeling mm. like I'm never going to change. I remember feeling like this is how my life is always going to be. Don't and go I had changing. a really good friend at the time who experienced a lot of like the same things I was experiencing when it came to like my stamina. And like I literally couldn't even stand for 30 All seconds. Right. And I remember very well just like constantly talking to her about it and just saying like, is this how it's always going to be? Because that's what it felt like. I was trying So I made some vegetable slowly, broth surely, today. Over time, I said, no, I'm I'm going to get up and I'm going to stand for no reason. Like there were times where I would purposely stand for no reason nice. just to build those muscles that I had lost. And a really, like a really big thing for me. All right. All the time. And the biggest. Journaling? She's d easier was being with Feline because I felt ashamed and embarrassed. I did not want her to see me like that. So not one. The best thing about my relationship with the, was Feline is how I felt uh, ashamed and embarrassed. Time. Well, I guess it's motivation. <laughs> okay. Did I ever use a scooter? But it's just all those tiny little things. It's just like doing more. Um, Got to keep up the image. The house when there's no reason for it. It builds your stamina when you literally had none. I'm not talking about like the average person. Cleaning I don't the house think that I cleaning could... is going to help your stamina. I mean, go for it. it must be nice. But when you were pretty much bed bound, Have the time. getting up and doing things that you normally wouldn't and doing them every single day, it makes it to where your stamina just improves. So then every single day. We got a oh Kinsey my god, Tori Turtle. Just subscribed. Tori Turtle turned to give to the tier one sub to Kinsey underscore Dunson. They have given 15 gift subs in the channel. That's a lot of gift subs. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Gift sandwiches in the chat. The gift ones. <laughs> Let me see them. Let me see them. I demand. My demands. My demands. So always feel been, stupid. What, four years since then? That person in 2019? <laughs> Stop what you're doing. Grab grab your phone. She doesn't exist. <laughs> like, the, Start the typing. I had who I was on YouTube. She doesn't exist anymore. Just the incapability of just living as a human, because here I am living on my own where I need zero help. Wow. My question is, are you in pain going out so wow. much? No, I'm not in pain, but like obviously I do have lymphedema and lymphedema. So by moving more, I do swell more. So that is the part that does suck a lot. It's That's a double sided. I can't get used to. Has double edge. You? Okay, so the answer is Get no. an exercise, but boy, but am I swelling. I really hurt her after we broke up by falling in love with someone else. I hurt her a lot, and I take Okay, I do remember people's... Oh, some shit popped up on Twitter, probably from, like, Michael B. Patty reposting it or talking on it or something. He was saying, like, uh, how did you break her heart when she was, like, polyamorous or whatever? Whatever the terminology they used. Uh, well, no, actually, in, in Amberlynn's timeline, those are different people, <laughs> right? The The... the those feline and that person um yep i obviously just could not control falling in love with someone else um i very much fell in love um i did and it just was really hard for her and it became hard oh. for me and it became a very big mess get a and hobby it just really went to buy show, some like, legos she did love me <laughs> be and real be fucking real what was it Guys, I, I've been messaging this person for a week, and let me tell you, it's love. I felt horrible, and I tried to fix it, but I kept failing at fixing With it. With the texts? And I made it to where she doesn't even want to continue being my friend. So I went through, like, a whole separate... Sounds like it works out for her. ...in private. <laughs> like, I just feel like I'm reliving the... Oh, my God. Get over it. God, out of context, I must seem so mean. <laughs> but, like, come on. God. People die. 
<laughs> like break just a million times over. you can you can yeah, mourn or however you want for the, the loss of um, relationship then, like, god damn another cry video like, I love hey wow well, well, nice to I see you like i needed her to know and i needed her to know that i was sorry that i hurt her i talked it over with oh my god alexa play said, never forget from said, halo 3 said, respect her well 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 22 just gifted five subs been a long time since I heard big man doing big man things. Thanks so much, Tori Turtle, for gifting five subs. That's super nice of you. That's super nice of you. You're always dropping those. I appreciate it. Let, I need now. I need to see the gift sandwiches in the chat. Those are going too. Pan Panthera, like Pantera, but a panther. Your local alien, Decrease, <laughs> Joey dot JPEG. And Ginger Samara. Joey.jpg. I'll have to tell him. I'll have to tell him. Maybe he'll pop in. And stop contacting her. And it's been really hard. This is going to sound dumb to some people, but I am on day five of not contacting her. And Joey I know a lot of people are going to be like, did a sub. it's so unhealthy. Trust me, I get it. I have mental illness. <laughs> and, <laughs> I, I haven't and, talked to the lead in five days. All right was my very best friend for like over two years you know i thought it was a castle of hyrule and, um, great name great really, name really hard so you guys hear there's a live action zelda movie coming well we'll see it's gonna suck it's gonna fucking suck <laughs> i mean i'm excited for it i don't know why it's live action but you know what? I sure do like playing a video game. Anytime there's a bad... Anytime there's like a bad game movie, I'm like, you know what? At least I sure do like playing that game. Feline, on the other hand, is probably thankful she got a five-day break. Yeah, fucking move on, right? Oh, it's Joey.jpg. Look who it is. Will we get a Feline tell all video? Yeah, nah, she probably contact, she's probably going... a reasonable person and will fucking move on with her life. Unlike all the usual freaks that Amberlyn seems to encounter. To be respecting her wishes, <laughs> even if it's really freaking hard. Like it's been so hard. Like I have oh, wanted my to call God. her, I've wanted to text I'm her. I'm craving and... something, I can't figure out what it is. Might be focaccia. Pizza? Cheesy bread? Probably focaccia. Get the fuck out, you. These last five days, and it's like I can't. And it's just been a whole other level of torture because I miss mm. her so much. Mm. And I just think out of respect for I need her a hero. For Always for craving donuts. I just. I uh, don't... Ever since I did that thing where you, uh, <laughs> just fucking her. let her, yeah, let her go. Like, uh, ever since I did that her. thing where you could just take it's never gonna happen. Next question. biscuits out of, out of the can the and fry them into donuts. I would every time I'm at the store, I'm like, ooh, that would be pretty good. I can't do it. Can't do it. Wasabi adapts slower than Twinkie and Birdie, but they're amazing. They seem very happy. They seem calm. And the cats, very, very good, very good. Do you think it's wise to be drinking all the time with all the medication? We got the cats a new tree. They're absolutely loving it. Dustin's having the time of his life. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, I've never even having a good day. I've never even seen the fucking one thousand bit version of that bit thing. <laughs> Look at that, that's pretty cool. Tori Turtle, that's so nice of you. Oh my god, I appreciate that. I am having a good day. I am. What what I even do that? I just I just was editing the mix and some music on the computer all day record a bunch of vocals after that and now i'm here we're on i actually am not on any medications thanks Dora turtle very nice of you i can't tell you the last time i took a, a medication <laughs> it's been months okay okay we're natural healing 
you are on. Okay. I actually am not on any medications at all. With I all the <laughs> with all the things she's diagnosed with. I can't tell you the last time I took a, a medication. <laughs> it's been months since I've been off of like. I wonder if she if she actually got like the full checkup from a doctor. I wonder how many medications they would recommend to her. Like anxiety medicine or for my bipolar. But I actually am taking a I think it would be like at least four. Break on the whole drinking thing because I felt like I was turning to it. I, I did go through a phase a couple years ago where um I was turning to alcohol and the last time I When the fuck was this? I've been here. You drank like three times in the past seven years before this recent thing. My drink was on live stream. I was drinking whiskey. It's because I was turning to alcohol. Um, For one fucking night? Oh my God. I felt like I needed something so I didn't have to feel what I was currently feeling. And that's why. Fucking, fucking, get help. Seek help. What's wrong? You fucking sicko. I told myself, okay, I need to stop. <laughs> this, guy, this lady's got a fucking problem. Check her into because I'm not gonna the place where you go if you person. have an addiction. What's it person? called? Or at least I thought I wasn't. What's that it person? called? But when I told myself, what's that called? When you when you're addicted to a substance, where do they send you? Rehab. Rehab. Got it. Stop drinking. I was able to do rehabilitation. That. A year and a half. A rehabilitation facility. Back to that. Like she's first, off the rails. Like, yeah. You know what? Single Speed era, ran alcoholism. Myself, any percent. Have a couple drinks. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. But then I realized. Imagine if she okay. took her anxiety and depression pills for those feelings she's trying to hide. I like the so way this true. Makes me feel. I like that it's taking away certain emotions, heightening other emotions, and it's making me feel good. Then I started doing it more frequently, and I kind of want to just take like a little break until I heal. What are you, fucking Kanye West? Uh, I'm not taking my bipolar medicine because uh, it. It hinders my creativity as an artist. More. Have you finished unpacking? Yes, I unpacked within like four days of moving because I was just ready for all the boxes to be gone. I was ready for everything to be. Uh, we, we, with the air, the air kicking on, we got to stop that. Homey feeling. So it's been it's been a hot minute since I've been done unpacking. Let's talk about what's that pitch. It's a A sharp. I'd rather call it a B flat. Really? Yeah. Castle, I wrote the 100 bits. Thanks so much. I appreciate that. What's going on tonight? Am Amberlin's, Amberlin's air kicking on. Actually, be more like. If you'd ever get back with one of your past girlfriends, oh my gosh. Hmm. If circumstances were different, I would definitely get back with Feline. Yes, I would. Oh, it's a little me? sharp. It's a little sharp. It's a little sharp. Therapist. I actually have it is a sharp so, B flat. This is actually a good question to kind of lead into something else. A little bit of a backstory is as you guys remember, I had to do 12 sessions of therapy um, to get weight loss surgery because I was trying to do that. And then I did the 12 sessions and then I yeah, somewhere between to those. see the same therapist, um, actually psychologist. I liked him a lot, so I stayed. And then remember when I told you guys, okay, well, I have to go to a new psychologist who actually, who actually- Is this gonna be on the whole time? in something different. And I didn't feel comfortable saying what it was. Um, I actually only got to see that psychologist one time because I ended up moving to a completely different state and I wasn't able to keep the same um, psychologist. Ma we make it a major triad? is the time to say. Um, I, no, I really it's too... want to share this. I don't know why, but I think it's something that's like, too out of tune. Out of the diagnoses I've got my whole life ever since I was nine, 
which I was nine and diagnosed with depression for the first time because like I was in foster care and just no nine year old should ever be diagnosed with that. But since then, you let's know, see I, the medical like, record. I haven't paid attention to what been she's saying. PTSD, um, bipolar. I don't believe. And those things were like so much easier for me to accept. Um, and I don't really know why. I was actually diagnosed um, on my 19th session with my psychologist with borderline personality disorder. And for some reason, I had a hard time accepting that and still have a hard time just accepting riffing that on her. Uh, it's obvious. Her it's obvious air, that the pitch, I have borderline the pitch of her and it's something air that, like, condition, I always or heat kicking on. purposely pushed away. Like people would contact me and be like, you know, you seem like you have BPD. And I just automatically. BPD. <laughs> BPD. I thought she had. <laughs> I, I can't I can't say it because I don't want there to be a, a clip of me just saying that. Remember, remember when someone said you don't you don't have BPD, you've got OBCD, and she's like, "Oh, I didn't know you were my doctor." Elise, At least the chatter. Like, no. Welcome on in. How you doing? I don't know what it is. I think it's because with everything else, you know, like anxiety. Okay. Take some medicine. Try some Zoloft. See if Do that some helps. throat singing. If Bipolar, I take some mood didn't need some vocal rest helps. after you know, that. But with borderline personality disorder, there isn't really a medicine for that. You have to yeah, there's work, no work, shot in getting work, that work, out. Work, work, and it's just like this diagnosis explains literally probably 95 percent of the reason why I am the way that I am. And it's, oh, I don't well. know if I want to like talk about it anymore because again, God. it's hard for me to accept. Who asked? I don't than the why. person in the Q and A. It's that one thing where I kept telling myself, "This can't be real. This can't be true," and it is. And now it's just something else that I have to put in work. And it's just maybe I feel like what you know about putting in work. When have you put in work? A bit unfair. And then I have to remind myself, life isn't fair. You know, people are dealt their. Oh cards. my God! She's had such a. And she's got like it rough how you play them she's like, got it rough you wouldn't want to be her it's like the motto that i need to live by currently it's like it's her I, burden to bear my cards were dealt now let's play them you know in a way that's just gonna make your life the more movers positive. lost the Next crucifix question, the on the guy who ghosted you there's like a rumor that a guy ghosted me amberlynn i'm just gonna say right now dying that, that for us not real i don't know where that came from any changes you've noticed from your hysterectomy? Yes, my hair. God, my don't hair me the hardest hand being a YouTuber. Yeah. Change besides not having. A Should I know who this I is? Uh, no, you're better off not, probably. We just um, we always just catch up with Amberlyn Reed, a controversial vlogger. It's just my curse. You wouldn't want to be me. It's God. See, God, he deals everyone a hand. And mine was that I have a YouTube show where I watch this person. My hair, um, you can't tell now because it is straight, but um, my hair texture has completely changed. It's like. Crazy. It's the fucking same. It's the same. It hasn't changed. I can see it's the same and like it's just like it looks dry and just always good. has it's a texture that i do not like always so has I choose to straighten it so you guys can't tell but on top of that my hair has thinned a lot my hysterectomy was a full hysterectomy so i went through menopause at a very young age obviously right right so um i'm just like showing symptoms of that and i know that's like a really big one and then another one is like i notice i get hot and cold a lot quicker than i ever did um, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but it definitely you remember, happened after. Remember when Destiny okay, said I've she had a smells? Lot of ask if I will be doing Vlogmas this year, and honestly, I don't know. <gasps> At least Big Lee's gonna do Vlogmas, right? My last Vlogmas was my favorite Vlogmas of all time because I remember how I felt during it. And not a lot of people have to enjoy it. It's fine. I mean, if you enjoyed it. I like the one when every day you'd open the garbage pail kids that you didn't want to do. Uh, and you get a pair of earrings from Becky. 
and uh, gave Becky that chapstick that tastes exactly like you'd expect. Really? Did I see Zach was here? Did I see some, did I see Zach pop up? Am I just fucking seeing things? Oh no, it's just the picture of Zach. I see. <laughs> it's like what the fuck? Looks just like him, huh? Oh, oh, Kinsey Dunson said Zachary. I was like, Zach's here? Yeah. Who's barking? Who's barking? <clears throat> POV, the lady next to you at the gyno office waiting room took a Xanax before she got here and won't stop talking to you. I've never, never experienced that, unfortunately. She acts like she can't do anything for her thinning hair. This is my life now. Yeah. Hey, I'm right there next to you, Amberlynn. <laughs> it's inevitable. Thank you so much. I'm hungry. But it's like, for me, a lot of my memories come from like, how did that Hey, Vilify Exile. I remember how people make me feel, how situations make me feel. I hear the binge monster. I don't want, I don't want to raise any alarm here, but I think we need to take cover. How did that make me feel? I remember how people make me feel, how situations make me feel above anything else and i remember <laughs> he's growling outside the window remember vlogmas making me happy the binge I felt monster happy. i felt at home the binge i felt monster. content i was sad for it to end binge and monster. it's because of the things i was doing in vlogmas you know i just said i wasn't going to talk <laughs> about feline much but she is a very large portion of the reason why i enjoyed vlogmas so much I feel oh like my god, get over it. Move on. A very good time. And so now when I think of Vlogmas. Oh my god, this is almost over. I think of her. So I'm trying to figure oh out. Oh my how I'm gonna... god. It wasn't enough to move out of the apartment that you have every memory with her with. Because fuck Becky, right? Uh, now you can't do Vlogmas anymore. Guys, I can't do YouTube anymore because it just reminds me of Felipe. Manage. So for right now, I do not know. Feel so I bad for wife. Yeah, she fucking did not know what she signed up for. No, she did. She has to have. Would be super sad over it. I don't know. She's sewing. Next question is, you should explain your TikToks. She, oh, she's reaping. <laughs> oh my I God, mean. My TikToks. She's reaping. A lot of people think that they have like hidden meaning. That's the opposite. They don't. I just really enjoy dancing lip syncing um so people call them thirst traps definitely not i'm just kind of for the lack of a better You're fishing term, i'm just filling myself fishing for <laughs> a new know. one i just enjoy being filling that. myself and by that i don't really know what that means guys take a look i just at this. enjoy that so if you go to my tiktok and you no. see you'll know what i mean i just enjoy that amberlynn that amberlynn to me it's look fun. At, look What's at it this. been like getting to reconnect with your mom? It has been so amazing. Take a look at we this. We have so much time Fucking lost beautiful. That I think that we're trying to make up for. Oh. And I have noticed some oh. people saying like, why do you only hang out with your mom? Oh like, my God. Well, I mean, I've only been here for a month. My whole life, look at I that. didn't have her. Look at that and yellowing. We're both in a situation where we have this, each other. This seen some shit right here. Build that um, relationship, whether it's mother daughter. This shit's a been to the it's meat locker. Right it's like she doesn't one hundred at least know how to twice. Be I think she's doing an amazing maybe job. once. I can't I imagine. Know if I know how to be a daughter. I freaking definitely played this place called the meat locker one time. Don't know if. Don't know if we played there. I feel like we played there twice, but I can't imagine Some. that after the first time we were like, yeah, we'll do that again. Fucking horrible, horrible place. I don't know, what was it? Montclair or something? I don't know. Fucking gross. Thanks for follow Lisa the chatter. Oh, hi, puppy dog. Ugh. I gotta get... I gotta get wall guitar mounts crazy as that sounds I so we're just trying I to trust myself and we're, we're having fun with each other and we have not just fun with each other but we have those tough conversations um she has done a lot of apologizing and we've talked so much about jackie attack you want no one just subscribed isn't it past your time sir not mine not my own it's 9 21 here 
Thanks so much for subscribing. 16 months. That's a whole lot of months. I appreciate it. Let me see some sandwiches of Jabber Jackie Attacky. Also, I'm pretty sure uh, you were the first one to mention the the let's wrap this up merch idea. So thank you for it's that. It's just been really good bonding Ooh. experience for sure. What is the best part of living in Oklahoma besides being closer to family? And what's been the worst part of living in Oklahoma? So the oh best part God. is the fact that I actually love it here. Um, I don't know why, but when I lived here when I was... But why? The best part of Oklahoma is I love it. 18, it was just for like six months or something. I hated it. I don't know if it was like where I was living. Um, I didn't really go anywhere. Now I go a lot of different places, but I, I just love it. Like people here are so nice and I, I don't know what it is. Like the energy feels good to me. Worst part has been obviously. This is killing me. My random waves of loneliness for sure. Like no matter. F fucking. Listen to a podcast. Or how much family is around you, or whatever it may be. Sometimes moving to a new place with new surroundings where you have to create a new routine. I cannot deal with this air kicking on and off. Especially without someone that you love. It does create a sense of loneliness, and that has been really hard. And I know that Alexa, obviously another worst thing is going to be never forget from Halo in the Three. summer, ice and snow in the winter. Not looking forward to that. Next question is, what areas of your life are in need of the most improvement? Definitely my weight. What's she not like looking 100%. forward to? Do you only leave the apartment on the weekends? No. Um, I leave. Doesn't it get weekend. real hot over there? Weekends, during the week, just whenever I have plans. Are you going to start uploading on a schedule again soon? I don't know. I feel like starting a schedule is only going to make me fail. And I have done too much failing. Interesting. <laughs> in several uh, areas of my life. That's so, true. She is definitely numb to the concept of failure, unfortunately. You know, failing's an essential part of uh, progress. It teaches you how to do things, how to do things right. Uh, but if you don't try <laughs> and you just keep failing, you, you really just start to not care about failing anymore. <laughs> Maybe it's best it just becomes just right the now. norm for you when you graduated high school you expect to fail okay so we're going to end there i feel like this video is super long um i hope that you guys did enjoy it and i will see you in my next one i'm so Bye. hungry I, at wawa I, I picked up a fucking builder bar chocolate peanut butter what i have this morning i had a protein shake this morning with a banana in it Builder bar. I'm so fucking hungry. Hey guys. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay. Um, video bad. Video bad. I think there's some rice noodles in the fridge. I made that veggie broth. Um, oh, I could make a nice soup out of that, maybe. You got beans. There's beans. You'd fall in love with a damn broom if it gave you an ounce of attention. Well, that's just silly. What, is she a witch? What is this? What is this, uh, what is this fucking Disney Fantasia? What is this, Lonesome Ghosts? What are these, what are these broomsticks walking around giving people attention? Huh? What's the deal with that? <laughs> Get real. Get real. Have a laugh. No, I'm thinking of the wrong thing. This is the ghost thing. I'm thinking of Fantasia. All right, that's it for that one. I don't know how many of these I've done now without uploading to YouTube. So I'll have to figure that out if there's going to be an upload soon.